Okay, it is time for episode 7 of season 10 of The Walking Dead. Before we get started, I just want to say this past week I finally had 500 subscribers on YouTube, which is awesome. It took me a while to get there, but I grinded for every single one of those subscribers, so I regret nothing. As for the episode tonight, uh, I have not gotten any spoilers, but a couple of fellow reactors that I follow on Twitter have hinted that, because some of them have AMC Premiere and they can watch it early, some of them have hinted that some stuff might be going down tonight. So, I don't know in what form that will be, but it should be interesting. Well. Oh. oh, God. I didn't like any of that, but okay, continue. Way to start this one off. Come on, Sadiq, just get over the fact that you saw ten people get decapitated. Oh. Is that the saucy old lady? Yeah. yeah. No! Oh, I didn't like her chances already. No, not water. Water's the... Mm. Water is the devil. Um... Well, I'd say don't waste water like that, but I don't think the water is safe. So... Feel free to waste it, actually. Sadiq, you gotta stay frosty, dude. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my god, Sadiq. Pulled things out of the can. He saw ten people get decapitated. He was almost number eleven. Well, he must have stayed ahead of it. Oh. Maybe you should have quit while he was ahead. Lord. Who invited you? To be fair, he owns this house. That pesky loophole. Whisperer's not going to give it up easy. If you want to sit this out, I get it. <laughs> I almost feel bad for what Carol's gonna do to this dude. Almost. Dog! In a Daryl shirtless scene. So many female viewers are losing their minds right now. Oh my god, she made him watch every single one? It was nice seeing DJ again, but not like that! Did she just, like, randomly pick him? If this was like a reverse eeny meeny miny mo with Negan, she randomly picked one to not kill and just made that one watch while she killed everyone else. Brothers or sisters. Yeah, Gamma, how's your sister? Mm-hmm. Sore spot. I'm an only child. Yeah, now. yeah now. Ooh, his day just got bad. Let's get started. Oh? Oh. Okay. So, what's it gonna be? It's gonna... Honey or jam? Show off how good it is. This is how Negan sucked in, Eugene. Lunch? I'm just saying. I was thinking... Salted fish. I like to wrap them up in a fresh piece of lettuce. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Well, right now we're just gonna talk. Okay. Get some food in you first, then we'll talk. Then eat. Good. Oh. No. I mean, if it weren't for Gabriel, I would be making my move. What is it with the doctors on the show hitting on their patients? 
Well, you can't spell bedside manner without D! Wow. Thank you. I did uh, check out a few of his baby tips. The poop chart. That shit was on point. And literally, <laughs> Eugene is a bona fide shitologist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Slap him. Start pulling the stitches out. You have no idea, so start talking. Uh, what? Oh, no oh, you hell would not. No. no, you would not. No, you would not. Oh my god, she put the ring on first. She's a straight up pimp. Oh my god. If you hate him, you should put a ring on it. Do you want to watch what you say now? You're all weak. No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, you thought Daryl was the good cop? In both your ears. I'm gonna take all your teeth. You lie to yourselves. To each other. You fight for what? Sandwiches! You fight for nothing. You ignore the truth. When it's staring you in the face, I would never betray Alpha. She rescued me. She protects me. She loves me. She loves us all. She sacrificed her own daughter for us. That armpit probably smells horrible. She killed Lydia. That's what you think. She did. And I'm willing to give my life for her. This would be the perfect moment for Lydia to just walk in. Yeah. I think they're going to make that happen. Well, I would yeah, she's going to make it happen very soon, too. I think Daryl might be against it because he wouldn't want Lydia to get on his radar like that, but I think Carol's going to go behind his back and and use her because Lydia is their best chance of getting anything out of him. So I have my fruit punch, as always, but it's extra pineapple-y, this particular batch. It's best when it's mostly cherry. Are you reacting to The Walking Dead or to Fruit Punch? I'm eclectic. Stop. It stands now. You are not getting Lydia mixed up in this. He swallowed every ounce Told you. Of Told you Daryl wouldn't be cool with that. If he sees that Lydia is alive and well, Gets it that his great leader lied to him, and maybe that changes things. That kid's been doing enough. Let her make up her own mind. This is the only way you know it. This could also be a bad idea. That good, huh? Well, she's still alive. Better than last time. For now. I'm surprised she made it this far. You know how I know a man's lying. He's ripped and moved. Okay, Judge Judy. Close your papers. Chris. Cheryl, I can't pay for me. I made my peace. There are other patients, Cheryl. Brother or sister? I'm sorry. I... I had a brother. Yeah, he well, was a couple years younger than me. He, uh... Didn't know about him. He loved cars. The only thing he loved more than cars was people. And they loved him. Is he dead? You think he's dead? Pre-apocalypse or post? Yeah, 
I know what it's like to lose someone that you love that much. Well, he's dead. And I know that it helps to talk about it. I'm burning up here. How the hell should I know? Just make it stop! I'm on the side. Oh, no. Oh, I hope he's okay. Now I think they're going to realize that it's in the third. Hey, hey, easy. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, that was... That was blood. He vomited blood. Just as they bring Liddy in, it's too late. Did you give this to him? Yeah. Pain and inflammation. You killed him. What? Hamlock. Huh? No, that's Yarl's Hamlock. Dante. I didn't know. How'd you not know? Dante, what did you do? Because you packed it. <gasps> Sadiq, what did you do? Cheryl was right. Sadiq does need to take a nap. Why we even got Hemlock? <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be that branch that's in the Yeah. Hmm? You're not supposed to kill those. As a whisperer. Your you. Like you are? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Queen Gaslighter. She killed her sister for you, and you still are treating her like this? Cheryl? Oh, she dead. She has to be dead by now. Cheryl is dead. Oh, God. He's losing it again. Where he going? Where you going? Oh. Gonna have... Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. So she got her sick ass out of the house just to go yeet herself into a river go back in. after her baby died. Okay. Dante. Is it his dashing good looks? David. Oh. What that skin bitch did hate on you. That you skin bitch. There. I did nothing. There was nothing you I could do, nothing. Sadiq. I just... I didn't move. I didn't What could you have done? Just watch. You have to fight it. Yes, Rosita. If you can, you will. Yes, keep encouraging him, just don't because kiss him. You're not a woman. And you're the smartest person I know. <coughs> Eugene. Except me, of course. Eugene. <laughs> the bona fide shitologist. Exactly. I still can't figure out why you're sick. Aha! You got it. Go home, okay? Go home. He figured it out.
what are we gonna do about all that? I can't even tell if he actually figured it out, or if he's just mad and freaking out again. Oh God, anytime I see a cast member with a different hairstyle, I'm like, are they dead? Or you could freak out and shave out of some boy, I don't want to shame. I was going to say Britney Spears, but okay. I'm keeping it in this world, okay? Britney Spears probably existed in this world. I don't know if she'd still be alive. She's but. probably a whisperer. Well, she shaved her head that time, remember? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why she came up. And she's um, she's kind of good with an umbrella. She fought off those paparazzi. I thought she just beat a truck with it. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, she swung it at them and no one approached her. So, I mean, I think mission accomplished there, B-Spears. Oh, they still got paid for the encounter. No doubt about it. In the past, I listed off a couple celebrities that I think would be alive or dead. Britney Spears would definitely be dead. Jamie Lynn, though? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, it's, it's yours now. Yeah. It's not her daughter. Technically, it's not his either, but no time for semantics. Oh, he crossed the border. She all jacked up now. Your mother told her people she killed you. You said you wanted my help. I did. You helped. You used me. Lydia, I'm sorry. You just like her. Lydia. Don't go back. You said you wanted me to choose a side? Don't do it, Lydia. I choose mine. You can't go out there. It's too dangerous. You can't stop me. Oh! Oh, oh Lydia. Don't. What? You could be watching. <sighs> She's really taking it to heart. Well, yeah. She killed her sister for Alpha because <laughs> Alpha supposedly killed her daughter. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that. Look, this place is special. I got that right away. It, it works because it's a village. It takes everyone here to Bills grow, fight, raise road rats, <laughs> and heal people. Everyone carries equal weight. <laughs> so when something happens, it's all our fault, yeah? And when one of us is suffering, Where's this going? It's gonna be okay.
What are you doing? What is this? Is he a bad guy? Is he a whisperer? Is he dead? Dude! What? But knowing that sets you free. Chandler Riggs and Sadiq himself, Avi Nash. I am Chris Hardwick, and this is Talking Dead. What did I say? What did I say? His haircut changed, so I was worried about him. You called it. Oh. Also, didn't I say that sometimes the guest, not the surprise guest on Talking Dead, like someone they announced, could die in the episode? That hasn't happened in a long time. Thank you. Well, it has now. First of all, we are now doctorless once again. Second of all, Carl died to bring Sadiq into this group. Carl died helping him. And now with Sadiq dead, Carl died for nothing. And there's no doctor. I said that. Ooh. So there's an MD and this around him.